Okay guys, here's the first video. We're gonna take, we're gonna review Bohr diagrams and then we're gonna show you something even better called a Lewis structure. So I'm gonna ask you guys to pay attention and take notes if need be and then if you have any questions, make sure you ask your teacher. Okay, this is gonna be so simple, it's gonna make things so easy. So let's review and I call them boring diagrams. I hate boring diagrams. Bohr, whoever invented these diagrams, his last name is Bohr, he was known as Mr. Boring because they're long and they're annoying to draw. So we're going to come up with a solution to that. So let's take a look at boron. Maybe it has something to do with boring diagrams. So let's take a look at the boring diagram of boron. So I'm going to put boron has five protons. So here's, I'm going to put the B right there to show it's boron. So it's got five protons and the mass is 11. So it's got six neutrons. So the boring diagram, we have to show every level. Here we go. You know how to do this. First level. How many electrons? We have five protons. We need five electrons. Here we go. One goes there. Two goes there. Are we done yet? No. Isn't this boring? Ugh. We'll be done with this soon. Open up another level. Oh, boy. So how many can fit in this level? Up to eight, but all we need are three more. Again, I'm going a little faster because you should know how to do this. So the first one goes here. Oh, you know what? Let's make these special. Nah. Let's, let's make these special. They're called the valence electrons. Here we go. Here's the first valence electron. Here's the second valence electron. Here's the third. Huh? Oh my God. I'm sorry. I fell asleep because these are so... Boring. We have to show all the freaking energy levels. Oh boy. Okay. So now let me introduce you to our guy. His name is Lewis. He's kind of a slacker. He's like the slacker. He's actually brilliant. He only wanted to draw just the valence electrons. And we know the valence electrons are the ones on the outside part of the atom. And what you'll learn that they're the ones that are involved in like chemical reactions, and they're actually going to be really important. So if they're really, really important, why can't we really just draw those instead? So Lewis said, let's make this more efficient. I'm a little bit of a slacker. I don't feel like drawing all, everything with a boring diagram. So here's the Lewis structure where all, he's a slacker. All we want to do is draw the valence electrons. So I'm going to put the same B in the middle here. B for boron. And that's, that'll be the nucleus. And all I got to do is try, I'm going to color code it. So he's not worried about the energy levels. He just wants to show the valence electrons. So how many total electrons does boron have? Five. Two in the first level, three in the second level, the outer level. So therefore, boron has three valence electrons. So how do we show this? Lewis is like, let's just show the valence electrons. So it goes like this. First one goes here. One. Two. Just like that. That's it. Done. What would you rather do? Boring. We have to show every pro, uh, electron at each level or just the valence electrons, which I'm telling you are going to be very important because eventually you're going to learn these atoms need a full level of electrons. But you'll get to that next week. So all we got to do is draw these. Isn't that nicer? So that's our goal this week is to do this. How exciting is that? Much better and much easier. So do you see the difference? Boring. It's thorough. It's great. But sometimes they put me to sleep. You show all the electrons in the levels. Lewis, quick. He was like the slacker. Just show the valence electrons, the outermost electrons. And notice I put them in red, and it's the same format. Now let's do another one. So let's do fluorine. Here's fluorine. Boring. And I'm going to do this a little faster. Nine protons. 10 neutrons, yay! How many are in the first level? Two, one, two. Are you awake yet? I'm ready to fall asleep. How many? It's in period two, so it's got another level. How many more electrons do we have to draw? Seven. We're going to put them in red. These are the valence electrons. One, two, three, just like we did before. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, sorry. This was very boring, but it's accurate. Should we do it the quick way? So you take a second. 
if you were to draw a Lewis structure, take a second, there's the symbol, you try it. Just draw the valence electrons. I'll give you a second, or pause the video, see what you can do. Okay, now watch this. First one goes here. One, and notice I'm coloring it, like the same color. Two, three, four. Where does the fifth one go? Just like here. Five, six, seven, just like that. Just like that. How easy is that? Stun, easy, okay? So that's fluorine. Let's do sodium. Sodium. Boring. What do we got, 11 protons? 12 neutrons, hold on, I'll use the same blue I've been using, I'm sorry, because boring. So I've got 11 electrons, first level. And by the way, I'm now on the periodic table. You take a look at where sodium is. If you can see that, sodium's in period three, three levels. One, two, second level. Oh my gosh, are we done yet? Are we done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, I still have to draw another one. Oh my God, here we, here we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, it's a valence electron. Yay, woohoo. Boring. Okay, how about our boy Lewis? Lewis hooks us up, man. He knows, he knows how to do this the right way. Well, this is the right way, but he knows how to do it the easy way. Sodium. Here's your nucleus. How many valence electrons does sodium have? Well, it's review. It's in group one. You should know that from last week. Sorry. Group one. So it's got one valence electron. So let's write this down. Just like this. Watch this. Boom. Done. What would you rather draw? This or that? Look how simple that is. Okay? See the difference right there? Lewis structure, he's a slacker, but he was smart. He's efficient. He just wants to show the number of balance electrons. That's all it is. How easy is that? Let's do argon. Here's argon. And I'm going to go a little faster. Argon's got 18 protons, 22 neutrons, right? Two in the first. Oh my gosh. Come on, dude. Seriously? How about drawing, like, francium? Could you imagine period seven, seven levels of this? Good Lord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are we there yet? No. Oh, my gosh. Another level. But these are valence electrons. We have eight more to go. One, two, same routine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, Lewis structure. Here we go. Ready? Just draw the valence. Done. Just like before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Done. Thanks, Lewis. Give it up. High five. Yeah. Boring. You stink. I don't like you. Look how easy that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Done. Thanks, Lewis. Hook this up. Okay. I just want to go over. Um, now, you know what? I'll make a separate video going over two questions we would get. So you see the difference? Boring shows everything. Lewis shows um, just the balance electrons. Okay, let's hit stop for this part of the video.